Today I'm going to show you how to make a pull skein with your hands. And this is especially helpful instead of rolling it into a ball and then <clears throat> uh, having the ball go flying all over the place. Um, you can pull it like you're pulling from the inside of a store-bought skein. Uh, or if you've undone a project and you just have this length of stuff here and finally you get to the end and now you're like, okay, now I have a big pile of yarn. You don't want it to get tangled. It's good to wrap it back up into a pull skein. All right, so I start off with a slip knot, but instead of a slip knot going to my uh, working end where it can tighten, I'm going to slip knot it with the tail end going through. And because I'm going to be wrapping it around my finger, I don't want it to tighten around my finger. Okay. So now it's just a matter of doing figure eights around your hand in any direction you want. But just stay within this in the same direction. You can get a good rhythm. And there I have it. So slowly just over under more like over over but figure eights you get the idea and then you can go just you can just fly doing it I had done about five rows of 30 stitches and took it out because I realized I had the wrong gauge and I'm just going to get to back to my uh, ball of yarn here and here's the rest of the ball which I this is also a pull skein that I did with my hand my whole hand was stuck inside of there like this when I made this um, and it's pulling from right there there's the center okay and what you can do is, if you have multiple pull skeins, you can put them one inside the other. So this one, I'm going to put, because I can pull this easily without it, see that's the center. That's where I started, and it just comes out really nicely. And then I can put that inside of this, and I don't have to worry about knotting or getting tangled. Okay, you keep all your yarn together, and even if you have another length going, you can <clears throat> butterfly that again and stick that inside and just keep your end out. That way, you, I, I like to keep the slip knot on it, that way, I can distinguish between the end end the outside end which you don't really want to pull from because otherwise you can get these twisted together and all kinds of mess um, and then you know where to start that's it thanks for watching